hello students i am here to talk you about a very important aspects of examination the first and the foremost thing about exams is never to be scared of them each examination is succeeded by preparatory time which must be utilized optimally if you do it you will love to take any exam the second thing about exams is to give your 100% near the exam to studies don't panic revise as much as you can with proper breaks don't lose heart just you are sure to fare well through them the following tips can be helpful during the exams listen carefully the first and the foremost thing is don't panic whatever time is left make the best use of it number 1 if you have a mobile phone give it to your mom or dad number 2 don't delay studying number 3 just start studying number 4 do study the subject topics and concepts that you like most the more complex topics can be studied later revise by writing the notes just looking at the question paper and the answers won't help you do take frequent short breaks say 20 minutes after a spell of 1 hour study study alone it's a very important thing if you think you can study better in the company of your friends it is a wrong belief just be strong and study hard remember there are no shortcuts for success all the best for your examination your second revision examination is very close to you so here i have given some important questions for the second revision examination the subject is chemistry you know that portions for the chemistry this video will be more useful for you watch the video till the end so here everyone has this quote in your mind dear exam please be nice am i right so let's start that about the chemistry now in organic chemistry there are two lessons you have lesson 3 and lesson 4 the lesson 3 is p block elements the very first question is give any preparation methods of nitrogen reason for the anomalous property of nitrogen electronic configuration of group 15 elements so these are about nitrogen compounds then phosphorus you have read phosphorus and then study about the chlorine bleaching property of chlorine uses of chlorine and the preparation of bleaching powder and uh, few more questions are the you have lesson 4 now transition in a transition metals yeah transitions are d block elements you know that about their properties we have to discuss ionization energy transition metal shows variable oxidation state why transition metals have high melting point fe3 plus and fe2 plus which is more stable diamagnetic and paramagnetic property distinguishes hume rotary law transition elements are able to form complexes why what is lanthanide contraction and then basic character about lutetium and lanthanum hydroxides and so on let's say about physical chemistry we have two lessons lesson 8 and lesson 9 ionic equilibrium arrhenius concept lauri bronsted theory lewis concept distinguish between lewis base and lewis acid ionic product of water ph actual dilution law buffer solution buffer action henderson's solubility product and lesson 9 if you come electrochemistry molar conductivity equivalent conductivity 
called Rush law. Nernst equation AC current is used instead of DC current Y in the measurement of conductivity. Relationship between equilibrium constant and voltage, electrochemical equilibrium equivalent mass and Faraday's laws of electrolysis. These are the possible questions in the electrochemistry. So, learn thoroughly. If you have derivation, you just practice it by writing. It is very important in physical chemistry and problems also have to go through that. Organic chemistry. Only one lesson you have, lesson 12 about carbonyl compounds that is about aldehyde, ketone and acid. First one is Rosenmund reduction that is the preparation of aldehyde. Stephen reaction it is also the method of preparation of aldehyde. Then gatterman cos reactions and Friedel-Crafts oscillation, Clemenson and Wolf-Kishner reduction. So, here it is conversion of an aldehyde or a ketone into an alkane. Aldol condensation and its mechanism is very important. Gleisen schemate reactions, Ganizaro, benzoin condensations and Perkin, Navanagal. These are conversion of aldehyde, benzaldehyde to chinamic acid. And uh, transesterification and cold electrolysis reaction. Very right note on formalin. Okay, then preparation of urotropin and test for aldehyde. Formalin, it is a 40 percent aqueous solution of formaldehyde is called as formalin. Every morning you have two choices, continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them, it is your choice. There are no secret to success, it is a result of preparation, hard work and learning from failure. All the studying you are doing will be worth it in the end. Good luck and be confident. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video prepare well and score more all the best